Hello and welcome to the CS Cart video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we continue working with the order created in the previous video. But this time we process the order from the admin panel until it's completed. Let's begin. To learn about new orders in your store, you can check the order department email, check recent orders section in the dashboard, and simply look at the orders page. Here is our new order. It has an open status. Open is assigned to the order right after it was submitted. Each status has its own color, so you can easily distinguish them from each other. Statuses do one very important thing – they control the inventory. For example, open, processed and complete statuses decrease quantity of a product, while failed, declined and cancelled statuses return product quantity to its initial state. Also, an administrator can notify a customer about all status changes, just tick the corresponding checkbox. Click on the order title to get access to details and start processing it. To the left, there are customer details, billing and shipping addresses. At the center of the page, we have a number of tabs that affect the order processing, product-related information with totals, and notes left by a customer or a staff member. To the right is the action panel, where we change the order status, assign managers to orders, and create shipments. All of this is located on the General tab. On the Add-ons tab, all add-ons related to this order are presented. For example, we can enable or disable communication for this order. Next tab is Promotions. It contains the list of promotions that have been applied to this order. There can be another tab here called Communication if a customer sent you a message about the order. We can reply to such messages right on this tab. Now let's get back to the General tab. Recently, we have updated shipment processing, so now you can create shipments using two options – a short one, with tracking number and a carrier, and a detailed one, with several additional options, including the ability to change the shipping method. Also, detailed shipments can come in handy if you need to split the order into two or more batches. Just select which products to send in the first batch, in the second, and so on. After we filled all the required fields, we can change the status of the order to Processed, for example, and notify a customer about a new shipment. All shipments are contained at Orders – Shipments. Shipments also have their own statuses to make it easier to manage them. The only thing left uncovered is the sheer functionality of the gear button. I guess there's no need to review all printing options. Instead, let's take a look at Tweak and send the invoice. Clicking this button will take you to a separate page where you will see an invoice for this order. You can change the content of this invoice and send it straight to the customer. A PDF document with the invoice can also be attached. You can still edit the order. Just click the Edit Order button and tweak the order as much as you like. And the Copy button creates a copy of the order, which saves much time if you need to create lots of similar orders. The processing is finished when you receive the money and customer receives an order and has no complaints about it. And after that you can set the order status to complete. That's how you process orders in CS Card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card videos.